Hello, and welcome to a new tiny series thing that I'm doing called Gaming in My Undies. The name is pretty self explanatory. I am in my underwear, and I'm going to be playing some stupid games that I saw on Steam. Stupid might be harsh. Um, they're weird little free to play games that I've been eyeing for a while, and I thought, I guess I might as well record myself playing it. So I came across this one a couple of months ago. It's called Blood Pit Skeleton 2. And I was thinking about playing it, and I was thinking of only playing free-to-play games, but on the first game I checked out, um, Skeleton 2, I ran into an issue because I thought I should probably play Skeleton 1 first. So um, I went down to the creator of Skeleton 2, Bry Guy Studios, and uh, Skeleton 1 is actually 99 cents. So, um, you know, you got to spend money to make money. I'm never going to make this a big series if I don't start spending cash on games. I mean, I think my goal is at least getting three or four episodes in before I start inviting like PewDiePie or someone on to game in his undies with me. So, um, here it goes, 99 cents. For a split second after buying Skeleton Zone Traveler Emergence, I felt like I was probably the first and only person who ever bought it, but turns out there are several people, enough that there are 19 user reviews. So, um, looks like Bry Guy Studio made a nice, you know, bit of cash on Skeleton Zone Traveler, so. Uh, I'd like to check out the trailer before I watch it, as long as the trailer isn't just gameplay. If it has some wacky shit in it, it might be fun to watch it and react, so. Here we go. Every game break through. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm hyped, honestly. Are you? Because that trailer really got me excited. Nice, um, fucking diegetic menu thing going on here with, uh, this circle. I do not have any issues with epilepsy, but I imagine this is the kind of game where if you did, you shut up. You might not want to play it. So, Skeleton is 3.6 gigabytes. That's more than I expected, honestly. Um, so, in the meantime, while that's installing, I guess I should check out and see if there's some kind of description. Help the travelers escape the horrors of the skeleton zone. Short, sweet, to the point uh, about this game. The space-time gravity travelers have been compromised. They have been sent to a skeleton zone, a skeleton zone, so there's more than one, and it has become your duty to ensure they escape to safety before the enemy forces descend upon them. Seems like I'm gonna, this might be like a wave shooter thing. They are helpless in the gravity suits and with an inability to remove them amid travel, only you can carry them to their freedom. Fight your way through the skeleton zone utilizing weaponry. Discover the resources of your survival, for your survival. Most of all, deliver the travelers to escape portal to ensure they survive. Fight, run, and hide when the task becomes impossible. Prepare to save the last remaining chemically unaltered. Prepare to save the last remaining chemically unaltered. Discover the secrets. Remember. Find the travelers as they emerge. Fight to defend the defendless travelers. Fight to defend the defendless travelers. They will be incapable of movement or defense due to their suit technology. Some cool technology. Take the traveler to the portal as to deliver them to their destination. Skeleton is an FPS horror game about surviving the numerous enemies encountered and fighting back with found weaponry. Also, you must begin searching for the travelers, collecting their teleport devices, and bringing them to the escape destination. Minimum required processor, AMD FX9830P Radeon R7. Now we're getting to the reviews. I think I'll wait until I'm done playing the game to uh, check the reviews. I don't want to be spoiled. Skeleton's done installing. Into the skeleton zone. Now I do... Was that my cursor? Oh. 
Okay. Well, I do have an ultra wide monitor. What I wanted to do was um, adjust the game to make it fit within the screen. Um, I don't know if this game has settings, so I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I might just have to smush it in OBS. Let's see. Skeleton. Can I select skeleton? Is that just the name? Okay. Embark or leave? If I press leave, does it just close the game? Yeah, it does. Embark. What? Some of that. Skeleton. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Flashing light warning is right. Every time I shoot this gun, my screen goes white? Oh god, this is nauseating. Do I have more than one weapon? No. Uh, my health is in the corner there. I guess if this um frame thing doesn't actually end up doing anything else... I can show you here. Um, oh, I'm getting hit by something. That's okay. If I die, I die. There's some kind of Slenderman attacking me. Um, my health is just outside the view over there. Jesus. <laughs> it's just outside. This is ridiculous. It's just outside the view to the top right. Um, I can shrink this down a bit. That might be a little easier to see some of the stuff. Um, hopefully the games I play in the future, I will be able to resize them. Otherwise, I'll have to simulate some kind of window or something. But let's get back to embarking. 2,000 years later. I forgot how long it takes to load. It scared me last time. Yes, I know. Ooh. I can't skip this. That is some incentive to uh, make sure I don't die. So that doesn't do anything. I can't jump. I can't crouch. I can't. I don't think I can do anything besides run and shoot. So There's health there. I don't need that yet. There's probably some Slenderman nearby because he attacked me last time. No. He fucking knocked his ass down. Get down, fucking Slenderman. Go away. Yeah, own bitch. I know a lot of YouTubers play shit like this all the time and they're used to it, but um, <laughs> I don't play weird ass fucking games like this very often, so this is kind of an interesting, s surreal experience for me so far. I like it. So, um, I'm not ready to say this game's complete shit. Unless all this is very much intentional, I don't really know what to think of it yet. Wow, the draw distance is going to get me lost really fast. Oh, I'm back here. Is that something I'm supposed to bring back? Is that the guy in a spacesuit? The spacesuit thing I'm supposed to return? I don't know what the fuck that did. I can't reload manually, so I'll keep shooting until it reloads for me. Seems like shooting any of the background stuff doesn't really do anything. It's a very ugly texture. It's a different item. I thought it would play a different sound, but I guess not. Oh, I did something. It's not moving. Strange. Oh, shit. Sunny man. That'll probably kill me. Jesus fucking Christ. So I'm out of ammo. Uh-oh, that's not good. I should be conserving it. I can't kill a million Slenderman without it. Does this do anything? I don't think so. Is this ammo? No, it's not just chicken nuggets or something, I guess. Now, if I was um, a complete weirdo and I had to model 
ammunition. That's how. That's what I would make it look like. So I'm guessing it is. I'm, uh, fucking shot as soon as I picked it up. I mean, I pressed the trigger, but so far that's the only way you can reload. So I thought I had to reload. Look at that! Wow. Unless they had it already built into whatever engine they're using, they bothered to put level of detail on this. Fucking Slenderman, leave me alone. I'm looking at the model. You know, I would be having a lot more fun in this game if I could jump. Not that I like. Not that it would add any. Something's chanting. Not that it would add anything to the actual mechanics of the game, but I instantly enjoy things more when I can jump. Oh, a skull just killed me. Didn't see that coming. Everything will break through. The space time magnets will hold them something, something. There's no fucking way once I do actually find um, any of the people I'm supposed to find that I'm going to be able to get my way back to that guy. Despawned. There's the weird skull guy. Kind of scary, to, uh, honestly. Ugh. I thought its eyes were glowing for a second. I'm trying to get to do that again. I don't think I can kill the baby. I can kill Slenderman, but this guy might be invincible. Oh. Never mind. He just takes a lot more shots. Oh, I don't know. I think that fugly ass model and the sounds it makes are genuinely. Uh, unnerving, so I guess it kind of uh, wins in the horror department in that sense. My goal before I turn off this game is at least to find one person in the spacesuit that doesn't let them move that I'm supposed to rescue. I would be very, very surprised to find out that anyone who played this game actually beat it. Because, uh,. I am not devoting the fucking brain cells to memorizing this map. If I don't finish Skeleton 1, I'm not going to know what's happening in Skeleton 2. Some more ammo. Need that for babies. Are these the guys in the spacesuits? Oh, it actually hit me. Shit. Where are the dudes I'm supposed to save? Stop it. Stop bullying me. Fucking leave. Are these interactable? Is there an interaction button that I'm on? What is pause? There's no pause at all. That's cool. Oh god, I pressed tab and that is the pause menu. Embark or leave are my only options. What a pause menu. Embark. I haven't seen this texture yet. Hey, what the hell? Oh. I was literally seconds away from turning off this game and I found progression. Is this an endless hallway that they made from some kind of tutorial? I'm actually supposed to just turn around and it'll lead me to the right place? No, it's not. Oh, is this the guy, the space student I'm supposed to rescue? I think so. Let's just assume there is a trigger at the end of this area that just puts him in my possession. All alert. It's saying, I think. It's looping over itself, so I think each of these alarms is actually a prefab or something that's playing that sound. This looks like a boss at by yourself. What is this? Not a boss? I heal up before I interact with it. Just in case that teleports me to a boss, I'll take this ammo first. Can't do anything with it. It's just a funny face. 
It's just the funny face and that can't do anything. I'm not walking back out of this place, so... I'm either turning off the game here, or... If the guy doesn't interact with me this time, then that's the end of Skeleton. Oh, it's different this time. Did they just do like a funny thing where I walk back through the same place? And it's different, like it's supposed to be spooky. I like this guy. The spike sounds back to something I shouldn't run into. A lot of ammo. I'm just gonna blow his brains out, but I guess I can't. I've been pressing E or F for anything that I've ever seen as what I think would be an interaction key and nothing was happening, so... I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. No. Just kill him. I don't think I'll embark. I think I'll leave. Check out the reviews. They're mixed. <laughs> Positive review. Ten minutes playing this game did something to my brain I can never undo. I take back what I said. This game is not a virus. Not detectable, at least. And it really pulled off that uh, horror with the weird suspense, the creepy UI, and the overall gameplay. I didn't see a lot of gameplay when I played it. I can tell you didn't just cheap out in this game with a weird game making software and you made this from scratch. So to you, I give you props. I don't know. Finally, some negative reviews. So one time I dropped 74 cents and had the weirdest MS Paint fever dream in my life. Did this used to cost 74 cents instead of a dollar? It went up because of demand. Someone said, uh, Brandon70 said, I'm homeosexual now. I don't like it, please delete. That's a lot of reviews. There's a lot of reviews for this game. Um, overall, Skeleton Zone um, isn't really even funny bad. It's just boring and kind of disappointing because I thought it would be funny bad and interesting. Uh, the most interesting thing in it, I guess, is when I went into that little basement area. Because it made me feel like I was playing some strange um, retro Kingsfield type game where it was a dead end area and maybe I'd get an item, but there was something there that I didn't understand yet. But I think I'm reading too far into it and uh, there's just absolutely zero substance. So um, tune in next time for Skeleton 2.